To increase the pollinator habitat during a critical seasonal transition, the city will temporarily suspend laws requiring residents to mow in May. The goal of No Mow May is to allow grass to grow unmown for the month of May, creating habitat and forage for early season pollinators. This is particularly important in urban areas where floral resources are often limited. In 2020, residents of Appleton, Wisconsin became energized about No Mow May. 435 registered property owners participated in the campaign, and Lawrence University partnered with Appleton to conduct research on the impact of No Mow May on pollinators. Researchers collected data on the number of individuals and the number of species of flowers and bees found in unmown yards of a subset of the participating properties. They then compared those numbers to the abundance and richness of flowers and bees in nearby urban parks that are regularly mowed. The findings were impressive. Not only were the abundance and richness of pollinators higher in the yards of properties participating in No Mow May, but they were significantly higher. Participating yards had three times higher bee species richness and five times higher pollinator abundance than nearby parks that had been mowed. Edina hopes to have the same or better results. We have all sorts of pollinators in Edina, right? We have bees, we have butterflies, hummingbirds, wasps, um, you know, some that are more, more pleasant than others. Um, many of those spend time away from Minnesota or they hibernate in Minnesota over winter. When they return um, early spring, I know we've, we've started all to see, hopefully some, some of those bees especially, um, there's not a lot of food. And they have generally been, you know, especially our bees who hibernate, have not been eating over winter. And so they're hungry, they're looking for shelter for their young. And this No Mow May gives us an opportunity to provide both food and shelter during this really critical transition time from winter to spring and summer. The Parks and Recreation Department will set up an online registration form for residents who want to participate in the program. Participants will be given lawn signs to display during May, and the city's weed ordinance will not be enforced during May on those properties. Full enforcement will return June 15th.